Let's talk about charging for the silicon dioxide batteries. Uh, these have a wider voltage range than most uh, lead acid batteries, so there's a bit more uh, versatility as far as different charging systems you can use for these. A typical car alternator will put out 14.4 to 14.6 volts. Um, these batteries have a volt charging range of 14.4 to 14.7 volts, with 14.6 volts being the optimal uh, charging voltage. Now, uh, a lithium ion battery such as this also has a 14.6 volt uh, optimal charging uh, voltage for a lithium iron phosphate battery. So you can actually use the same charging parameters that you would use for a lithium battery. Now, float charging on these is 13.5 to 13.8 volts. And again, anywhere within that range is fine for these batteries as a float charge. What is a little bit different about these is these do not require an equalization charge, um, which is normally used once a month or so, or periodically, basically to break up sulfation on the batteries. A typical lead acid battery, if it's not kept at a full charge, you'll get sulfation, basically lead sulfate crystals will build up on the lead plates inside the batteries and diminish their capacity and degrade them over time. Silicon dioxide batteries don't have that issue. Uh, with these, you can actually leave them at a partial state of charge or even fully discharged for an extended period, and you won't get sulfation building up on the plates. You can simply just recharge them and they will return back to their original capacity. So with a, um, a programmable uh, solar charger type system, uh, say one of these as an example, these do have presets for different types of batteries. Um, it won't have a preset for silicon dioxide, but it will let you use the uh, lithium preset, or you can use the custom settings. So you can actually optimize it at 14.6 volts to get the best performance out of your silicon dioxide battery. So one of the things that we do have available, if you go to our website at azimuthsolar.com, is we do have a voltage versus state of charge chart available for the different types of silicon dioxide batteries. So this way you can look at the resting voltage of the battery and it will tell you what approximate percentage of uh, capacity the battery is at. So it gives you a little bit of a, a quick cheat sheet so you can see where that is if you're boondocking, dry camping, or have a remote location and want to know the status of your batteries. So with these, uh, we do recommend them for a variety of uses. And if you'd like any other information, please go to our website at www.azimuthsolar.com or you can contact us directly. Thank you.